Hi, I'm John and this is Up For Excel. With the chart highlighted, we've got this button here. What this is going to do is it gives us a little preview as we hover over it. So I'm trying not to do that too much. And down the left hand side, we've got all the different kinds of charts that you're pretty much ever going to want to, to need. But not only that, at the bottom, we've actually got combination charts. And then as you click on the different types of charts, you can see that you've got various different ones along the top. And each one that you click on, you then have some subtypes that show you um, different configurations of that same type. So stack column, for example, which is the one that I just happen to have as the default, is the one that we're showing at the moment. And that has the, you can see it's got the quarters along the bottom and um, sales and profit bars in each quarter. This, for example, if I change to this and just OK it, what you can see it's done is it's put all the different quarters sales together and all the different quarters profit together. Now that actually is exactly the same as pushing this button here, which is switch row and columns. Because switching rows and columns effectively has just done the exact same thing. So we can have a stacked column uh, where we show the bars on top of each other. We can have a stacked column that matches 100%. Now this one can be slightly useful in that here you can see the profit percentage. Now actually you probably want to see this the other way up. So how do you do that? Right, you go to select data and you select one of the two options that you've got at the moment and you can actually change the order. So now we're going to say yes we want the profit first and you can see that it's just switched them. So now you'll be able to see the profit percentage on the chart um, and you can see that say 2018 Q4 was um, nearly 20% profit. So that can be a useful chart type. Carrying on through them, you then have your 3D chart types, which personally wouldn't recommend. I don't think they're particularly easy to follow unless you're doing some kind of flash uh, report that's just using some kind of representative graphic. I mean, they have their place, but in terms of conveying information, they're typically more difficult to read. Line charts, uh, fairly self-explanatory. Now, there's not a lot you can have a stacked line, but that's quite a confusing chart. Again, there's the uh, percentage line. Now this one is quite interesting, because if I pick this, it's very easy to see your uh, profit percentage now. You've effectively created a profit percentage chart. And if you were to um, format that there, the sales line to be invisible, there's a fairly quick way of pr producing a profit percentage chart, for example, in this case, without having to do any calculations in Excel itself. But what we're going to do is uh, carry on here. How do we um, need to select the entire chart when we're doing chart type? <laughs> because if we just happen to have a particular series selected, as you saw, it jumped into the combination chart. You can have the lines with various different dots and sizes on, or again, 3D versions. Pie chart is not going to be a particularly sensible option in this case, um, although you could do, for example, um, this is showing profit by for each quarter as a percentage of the total profit over those two years. Bar charts, um, exactly the same as the column chart options, uh, just shown side by side, uh, sorry, um, just shown uh, horizontally rather than vertically. Area charts um, can be useful. This stacked area chart, for example, showing the profit and then the sales on top. Again, this one, um, similar sort of thing to the line chart that we're showing, they're just coloring it in. XY scatter is not going to be of any use to us right now. 
Um, although this one, for example, is showing the, uh, let's just show that one, the sales versus um, profit. Uh, it's not particularly well labeled. We'd have to do quite a lot of work to get that showing something meaningful. But it can be um, useful to plot because it shows um, you can create things like lines of best fit through that uh, and get sort of um, various averages and things worked out. Right, carry on. Um, you, you have various other sorts of um, bubble charts, for example, 3D bubble charts. Uh, stock charts. Now, I'm not going to go through most of these other ones, to be honest. Okay, I'm now going to talk you through how to make a combination chart quickly. Because if on the left hand side here, you see you go down to combo and you have your two series, in this case, sales and profit. And the instant one it's showing, which is one I would probably say is quite appropriate, in fact, is to show the sales as columns and the profit as a line. Now, you can show, you could have it as a, a line with dots. You can, you can pick, in fact, any of the, I mean, this, you can pick examples where it would look totally ridiculous. So we will stick, I think, to something like a line with markers. Um, now, now, that's quite interesting because what that's straight away done, you can see, is it's um, ticked this button secondary axis. Now, I'm not going to go through that in detail, but what effectively it's done is plotted that line against a scale on the right-hand side, whereas the columns are plotted on the left-hand side. Now, it can be quite useful, but it also can be quite deceiving and hard to read sometimes. So I'm going to take that off at the moment but just be aware that that flag can get ticked and you might need to untick it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let's hope you find it useful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.